welcome to this week's Monday Minutes. My name is Kelly. And my name is Jesse. And this week we are going to show you a feature in our favorite thing, item search. <laughs> I'm glad you're bringing it up as our favorite thing because it truly is. We have a love of the item search. All right. So there is a great feature in administration that may or may not know about. Under catalog, there's something called item search fields. This allows you to essentially create your own custom search fields. So you might be thinking to yourself, where does this actually show up? So let's open a new tab. I'm gonna hit that item search. We'll open it up over here and we'll take a look. Down here where the default is barcode, you'll see a little Drop down that shows you those custom search fields. So this gives you the opportunity to make your own. Kelly and I have a few of our favorites in there, but we're gonna walk you through now adding one. Now you wouldn't see that custom search unless you had created one. It wouldn't show blank, it, you have to create one. So mm -hmm. after this, go create one, It'd be super exciting. Yeah. So we're gonna come over here. You can see we have a couple for local notes. So if we wanna search the 590A, Kelly gave a great example earlier, donations. Some people will put in there that this is a donation from XYZ. You know, doing a subject search. This is probably one of my favorites. You know, this allows you to say, you know, 650A, 655A, you create whatever you want. Kelly had a question come up this week. Kelly, talk about that record suppression. Right. So if a library wanted to find all the items, maybe in a specific item type or collection that were suppressed, this is a great way to make an item search. Now, the beauty of an item search, it, it truly is an SQL report being done on the back end. So for, for users that don't have access to the reports or don't want to write a report, the more functionality that we can get into this item search, the better, because you don't have to worry about running a report, getting into the reports module. So another easy way to find the information to do your job. Awesome. So let's come over here. Let's click new item search. And Kelly, talk to us about the one we want to do today as an example. So we had quite a few questions about this. So somebody asked, a, a partner asked about searching through the item search for items that were checked out. So again, looking for a specific collection code or a certain item type or things in a branch that were checked out. I filed a bug because I think it's a great feature to add to the item search. But in the meantime, we can say, let's search the 952 and the subfield is Q and that would be the, um, the value for on loan. And so we're gonna throw that in, great. So we just gave it a name, gave it a label. The label is what's going to show in the item search. So we'll, we'll start again from scratch. We'll come over to that search, hit item search. Now, when we drop down, we hit that drop down for barcode, you'll see is, right? the few we have in. So let's do a couple searches first, just so we can show those. Um, Absolutely. I'm going to do a subject search for love. All right, so now we can see those titles, again, that are connected. It has the subject um, of love in uh, one of these. Let's do another one, Kelly. Let's do your example from the suppressed ones. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And I would say for any of those text ones that you're doing, definitely use that percentage for a wild card. So you're encapsulating more of the, the full search. Using that wild card will definitely help. In this case, we're going to do... One, because one. one means that it is suppressed. Yeah. Okay, so that gives us, all right, seven titles that we have suppressed in the, in the collection. And let's just talk about how great the item search is. Look how much information we get, like withdrawn, lost, barcodes, last checked out, number of checkouts, there's so much information. Okay, so then for checked out titles, we're just going to do a percentage sign here. So we're looking for things that have that value of on loan. So we want to make sure that that percentage shine will um, look for those. And we're going to say, okay, what's currently checked out? And if we want to, you know, pop over to one of those and see, but these are all titles that are currently checked out. Jesse did no filters at the top, but this is everything. Awesome. I know. Awesome. So there's one last thing we want to touch on here, and that is when you're doing the item search, we showed you all the, the awesome custom ones you can do. If you decide to do title or author, publisher, 
again, where Kelly mentions those percent signs are very specific, this search is very precise. So if I do a search for Nora Roberts without using those percent signs, chances are I probably won't get any results back. So you wanna make sure that when you do a search, um, you enter in exactly what you're looking for. So if I enter in that percent Roberts comma space Nora, I'm gonna put a percent sign at the end and I perform that search, that's gonna give me all of those titles that I have in my collection with Nora Roberts. So again, just very precise. Keep that in mind when you're running those searches. Yeah. And again, because this is an SQL report, there's no fuzzy searching. It's truly looking for an exact match um, for what you're looking for. So she capitalized the Roberts. That's important. We had a library that was looking for all their Seuss books. We probably know why. Um, and they could use this item search also. So it's a great feature. And I think if you didn't know all the capabilities, I'm sure we could have a whole set. We could have a, our own playlist on all our item search Monday minutes. We love it. We love it. Um, and I want to share, we have a um, super exciting, we have our own hex sticker. Look at that. We're famous, Jesse. We're famous. Big shout out to Cal. Thanks for making these for us. Thank you. So hopefully we'll get to see you all soon and, and hand these out to people. So, so exciting. All right. Have a wonderful week. Have a great week.